There's a distinct difference between nutritional ketosis, exogenous ketones, and diabetic ketoacidosis. Nutritional ketosis is the process of your body breaking down fat as a source of fuel and creating ketones. And this only happens when you're following a very low carbohydrate and high fat diet. Exogenous ketones, so taking Keto OS, is drinking ketone bodies without pushing your body into nutritional ketosis, but still elevating the blood level of ketones. Diabetic ketoacidosis is a dangerous state that occurs in the absence of insulin. What happens is your blood sugar levels rise, but it's insulin that needs to pull the sugar out of the blood into the cell. In the absence of insulin, the blood, the blood can't deplete itself of the sugar. The sugar will not go into the cell. So your body thinks it's starved of energy and starts making ketones. So there's nothing to manage the production of ketones and blood sugar. So you end up with very elevated levels of both, which can be quite dangerous. But this can't happen if there's insulin present in the body. This can only happen in the absence of insulin. So is this safe to take for diabetics? If you're a controlled diabetic and you've been approved by your healthcare provider to take exogenous ketones, then yes, it's quite safe and there could be great benefit due to the beneficial impact on insulin sensitivity that's associated with ketones and beta-hydroxybutyrate. So I just encourage managing your blood ketone levels as frequently as you manage your blood sugar levels.